Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to put two mini Dutch braids along each other. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is establish your part. Okay, I'm going to make mine a little straighter. I honestly just use my nail and go along my head. Okay, the second thing we're going to do is create the first line going down. And I'm going to go about an inch in. And then I'm going to take that with my nail and just go down. Try to keep about an inch width between your part and your head. Head. It doesn't need to be exactly perfect because I'm going to pull the braids at the end so you probably won't be able to see the part anyways. Okay, the hair that I'm not going to braid, I'm going to take it over here and put a hair tie in it because sometimes the hairs get mixed in. Okay. So, next step we're going to do is go just slightly in from the part and take this section. You don't want to go too far down here or else your braid's going to start so low. I know a lot of people ask me about that. So start as far up to the part that you can. We're going to section it into three little pieces. Okay, I'm going to take the closest piece to my head and go under the middle piece and put it into the middle. I'm gonna do the same thing to the furthest piece away from my face, go under that middle piece and put it to the middle. Okay, the second time we're gonna go under the middle piece and put it to the middle while also adding hair to that middle piece. Okay, same thing, taking the outside, putting it to the middle and also adding hair from the part or from the hair that we sectioned off, going under that first piece and into the center piece. Okay, same thing. And we're going to do that all the way down. Okay, so once we're doing that, I like to leave a little bit just because, um, just in case I want to put it in a half up or whatever I want to do, it, it kind of makes things a little more flexible. So I am just going to finish about there and a hair tie or whatever you want to do. I just have a little barrette, so I'm going to stick a barrette in there and keep it. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is create the second one. So the second one, we're going to do the same thing, but instead of taking an inch from here, we're going to take an inch from this part, go along that part, and then create a part down that's about an inch thick. If you want to do them smaller, you can do them smaller, just try to keep them symmetrical. So, you know, so that it doesn't look all funky if the sizes of the braids are uneven okay and then the rest of the hair we're going to section it off over here i know i look super cute right now and we're going to do the same thing that we did with this braid my hair's a little knotty but we're going to take that very very small piece to start off with start with three and begin up braiding and same thing, you just take or you braid hair from the part that you sectioned off.
Okay, and this one you can end a little bit sooner than what you would. Okay, and now you can see what it looks like before it's pooled. And if you like that, then you can keep it that way, but I'm gonna pool mine. So I'm gonna first, I'm gonna pull the first one, actually. Okay, so same thing, you take your uh, pointer finger and your thumb, and you take each loop, and pull it up and out, away from the braid, away from the center of the braid. I like to pull mine a little bit bigger maybe than I normally would just so that the part is kind of covered. I don't know why I don't really like to see the part, but again, you can pull it as much or as little as you'd like. Like I said in previous videos, the more you pull it, the more hairspray you'll need for it to stay because it just becomes looser naturally. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the second one. Same thing, pointer finger and thumb. It's always a little hard to when you start off pulling because the braid's so tight, but once um, you pull it for a little bit, it'll get a little looser and it'll become easier to pull. Personally, don't care if it's a little uneven or a little messy. I think it's actually cute. But again, it's all preference. You do whatever you like. Okay, so that is it for the braids. You can take it down, um, and you can leave it if you want. Um, in my Instagram picture, which is what people um, commented and asked for a video, I took both of them and just pin them in the back. Like this. And kind of had this look. Um, but you can also take them and put your hair up if you'd like. You know, it kind of just gives it freedom to do multiple different hairstyles with it. So, yeah, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed it.